Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I want to work with the migrations. So let's start by opening the database, migrations here, and first let's go to this one, countries. Now for countries I want to add only the name. So let's say here, dollar sign table, string is going to be, and name. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP-based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel, and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe, and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Like this, save. Let's open the second one, which is city. Now a uh, city is going to belong to the country, so we need to add the country ID here. So let's say table. And I'm going to use the origin ID for country. And let's say constraint, and also I'm going to say cascade on delete, like this, and then add the name. So it's going to be string for name, like this. Save, let's open the events. Now, here I'm going to add the title, the description. So let's say to assign table string for title and let's copy and paste also for the slug and with that also slug which is going to be unique and then with that description which is going to be a long text so let's say here long text for the description so then I'm going to add the start date and end date. So when the event is going to start and is going to enter the dates. So let's say dollar sign table. And we're going to use date here for start underscore date. And let's copy and paste for the end date. Okay, then I'm going to add an image. So let's say table string for the image. And here's going to be the image path. Then the address where this uh, event is going to happen. So dollar sign table. Also, this one is going to be string and say address here. And all of them is going to be required. Then I'm going to add the num tickets, number of tickets. So let's say dollar sign table num tickets. I'm oh, sorry, we need to add. It's going to be an in integer, this one. So let's say integer and num tickets. Okay. And then we need to add the user ID, country ID, and city ID. So let's say dollar sign table, user. And I'm going to use the origin ID. This one is going to be for the user ID. And of course, we need to add the constraint. And also, I'm going to add cascade on delete like this now let's copy and paste this for the 
country ID and for the city ID. And I think we are okay now with this, or let's remove this show here. So we have title, slug, description, start and end date. We have the image, the address, and the num tickets. So how many tickets is available for this uh, event? And I think we are okay. Now let's open the... First we need to save this. And let's open this one now, which is attendings. And here what we need is the user ID, the event ID, so let's say dollar sign table, and also your origin ID for the user ID, which is going to be constraint and cascade on delete. So copy and paste this user ID and the event ID. So attending the user. It's going to be the authenticated user and the event the event this user is going to be attending and also i'm going to add the num tickets how many tickets this uh, user can get for this event by default this one but so let's say table integer and say num tickets here. Okay, so we have user ID, event ID, and uh, num tickets, good. Let's close all of them. So we was, we need to go to the comments, yeah. Comments, and here also here we need the user ID and the event ID and then the content. So let's copy what we have here. Or just copy this shoe. And I'm going to open then the comments and here paste the user ID. We need the authenticated user here and the event when the event this user is going to comment. And then I'm going to add the table and say text for the content of this comment. Save. Let's open the second one, which is uh, galleries. And here also we need the user ID. So the last sign table, origin ID for the user ID, and say constraint. And also if the user is deleted, also this gallery is going to be deleted and table here string for the image path so i'm going to say image here and then on this image also we can add a caption so let's say the last line table string for caption like this save let's open the, this one and the likes on the likes, so we need to have the user ID and event ID, only this two. So the authenticated user is going to like this event. Let's save this. Let's open the second one, which is a saved event. And also here, we need the user ID, so the authenticated user is going to save this event ID. And the last one is the tags. For tags, I'm going to add the last line table, the name, sorry, string for name. And also the slack, so the last line table, string, and say slug here, save. And we are okay. Now, before I run the migrations, I'm going to open the seeders database seeder. And here I'm going to create this user by default. 
So let's uncomment this and then select. I want to import this one here for the user model. Okay. And I want also to create countries, cities, and tags. So let's say country create. And for country, we need the name, which is going to be, for example, United Kingdom. And copy and paste. And this one is going to be, I'm going to name it Greece for now. And you can add more, but I'm going to create only this two. Okay, now let's create the cities. So I'm going to say city. Create and add an array here with the country ID. And for this one, I'm going to say country ID is going to be one. And the name, the name is going to be, let's say, London first. and copy and paste three times here. So for the country ID, which is, which is going to be this one, United Kingdom, London, this one is going to be Liverpool, and this one, I'm going to name it uh, Leicester, like this. And let's create three more for the second country. So for the country with ID two, which is going to be the Greece, I'm going to say, Athens, this one is going to be the Patra, and this one is going to be Zagintos. And now let's create also tags. So I'm going to say tag and create. And for the tag, we need to add the name. And for the name, I'm going to say Lenovid. And for slug, it's going to be Dynamite with small L. Now copy and paste this. This one is going to be Vue.js. And the slug is going to be Vue-js. This one is going to be Livewire. And also here, Livewire. And I think we are okay. Let's save and close this one. And now let's run the artisan migration. So artisan migrate. I'm going to say fresh and tell dash seed. Okay. Now let's open the project. Here we are. And I'm going to zoom it for you. Now I'm going to log in with uh, the user we just created from here, which is the testexample.com. And by default, the user has the password, password. So password here, say login. And yeah, here we are on the dashboard. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.